Welcome to Ham Shack Reviews. My name is Vince, and today I'm going to show you how to connect WSJTX to N3FJP for logging using JT Alert. Let's get started. First thing I did was run WSJTX and leave it in the background. I went to a browser and I typed in JT Alert. Hit enter and JT Alert comes up. Here's that page. We're going to scroll to the bottom to see the latest version. Okay, that's it. So it is 216-17. Install instructions for first JT Alert install. Download. JT Alert 216.17 Set up exec Then go to your download files and run JT to set up exec all the way to the install Leave it installed Then you want to install the sound and database files So you're going to scroll down and You're going to click sound And you're going to pick the language you want and install this setup exec. So you're going to back out of this, and now you're going to run the ham apps call database if you want that to use QRZ through my N3FJP, and it gives me all the information I need. Then back on QRZ, we are going to open the JT Alert. It will get a little window that says something with the uh, reading your data and then when that's done you will pop up down here it automatically connects to WSJTX once it's downloaded then you'll see after a cycle or two it will start picking up the calls I have this black call that's my background for call signs I've worked before all these other ones I have not worked so now this is working. What you're going to want to do is go into settings, manage settings. You'll get another little window which is popping up on my other screen and it won't let me move. It says reading data. And then you're going to come down here to logging. That's QSO, log before data, and all this. And then it gives you a couple log books. And we're going to choose AC log. And then up here, you got a couple choices of what you want. I don't remember if I changed any of these or not at this point, but you'll see what works for you or, or what you may want. Then we're going to open our N3 FJP. And when you open it, since you don't have access to your port 13 because WSJT X is using it, you click OK. I'm going to slide it over here. Then you're going to want to click Settings. And you're going to want to click all the way at the bottom. Application Program Interface API. Open that up. And you're going to want to click this TCP port. That connects you to the 1100 port, which is actually the one running in your JT alert and then you click enter and I'm going to slide this back out of the way and see if I can make a contact to show you now I just clicked on this WE1 station you can see me calling it right here where I'm set at I'm putting out 50 watts this may be a little high, but I'm only making this one contact for now. I want to get him so I could show you. I made the contact. You can see he answered me with a negative 10. I sent him a negative 4. Now you can see over here, when I bring over N3FJP, you can see he populated the data and he pulled up some other stuff from QRZ. Now when I slide it over, you will see we completed the call. You'll take note I had to turn the radio off to stop this from cycling out of the way. 
Then I'm going to bring my N3 FJP back over. And you'll see we logged the call here. The second I clicked on that square box, okay, it logged the call back here to N3FJP. So I hope this helped you out. It should have definitely got you connected. And please remember to subscribe, like if it helped you, and ding that bell if you want to see more. 73s.